What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. I am on my way over to Tango's at the moment because I need to borrow a few things. He's got a couple shulker boxes which I'm gonna need to use today because we've got a big material gathering experience straight away today. We got a big farm to make. You probably can tell by the thumbnail and title and stuff already what we're doing. But I'm going to come over here because it's going to be a lot of help to have a shulker box or two. And he's apparently got some. Does he not have any horse holes anymore? What happened to it? I think he's... Oh, here it is. I, I can never find it. Oh, turns out he's got one much closer to the door. Anyway, all right, let's head inside see what he's got. And this is what I'm looking for. Shulker boxes. Yeah, he said I could borrow a couple. I got to make sure not to lose them. Oh, he's got a few. Okay, I'm just going to take two. That's about all I will need to gather today. And I get lost in his base every single time I come in here. But before I could get started gathering materials, Green decided we should give our mending villager a better home. Tip your hat. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. You know the secret to get in, I see. <laughs> yeah, you got to <laughs> tip your hat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Tip the hat to the door. What's going on, man? What's uh, what's happening with Captain Mendy? Is he ready? Captain Mendy is excited to have a new home. He is uh, a bit cramped where he's at, and it's pretty loud where he's at with the zombies and stuff. So, um, absolutely, yeah. We, shall we move him? Yes, that would be good. Uh, all right, yeah, let's go. You want to tip your cap one more time to the fancy door? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, all right, let's go find him. He's up in the mountain. So the way I'm justifying this in my head is that Captain Mendy's, uh, he's fishing up. He's fishing up mending all day, every day. <laughs> That's his job. Okay. All right. Ah, in here. Yeah, he's in here. Okay. I have a couple more in here, though. I, I don't really want to let out. Let's see. Oh, we can actually... Nope, uh, guys. Oh. I'm already getting, like, flashbacks this is a... from yes. dealing with villagers. Yes, it's not fun. Hold on. I think what we can do... There he is. 30... It's not the cheapest mending book, but... Hopefully we won't need too many. Captain. <laughs> oh man! All right, so this is his that wasn't uh, too bad little that fishing wasn't too hut. Bad, but it is it is a firm reminder why I don't want to do this this season. <laughs> right, one's enough. One's enough. Yeah. Mending's all you really need. The rest we can get pretty easily from enchantment tables and stuff. Yeah, the long <laughs> the long way. Here we go. Okay, that's it. I can That's decorate it. that a bit later on, but that—that that is it. I've got, I've already got some. I've, I'm re I'm so ready. I've got emeralds. <laughs> oh, I don't have get... many emeralds, but I've got some. I was gonna say it is not cheap, so it is still gonna it's cost you. These are not easy not mending. Cheap. <laughs> not cheap, but I. Some of my tools are. I'm I'm lucky they didn't break doing this. Oh yeah, look at all that. That's many weeks of my life that's just been bought. <laughs> a little easier than fishing, huh? <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit. Now I can, can repair them. By fishing. By fishing. So you're fishing again. Okay. I never stopped. Okay, Captain Mendy now has a good home, and I was hoping to borrow one of these. Perfect. And since we're gonna be going to the Nether, I'm hoping to get some fire resist potions. So we're gonna start off with the awkward potion, and I believe, if I remember correctly, it's just some blaze powder. And, oh, we'll want to extend that, too. Means I'm going to need some redstone. And that's not how you make fire resist. Yeah, it's actually been a while since I've brewed potions. So I think it's magma cream, then? Well, we got eight minutes of strength, and that's our first time brewing this season. Let's try this again. There we go. That's better. Let's extend it to eight minutes. All right, perfect. Uh, three's going to have to do. Hopefully, we don't run into that much lava. All right, let's go to the nether.
two shulker boxes of magma blocks acquired. Now we need to get some turtle eggs. I've been gathering materials like crazy, and I think we've got everything we need. Oh, there's even more in here. Of course, magma blocks we're going to need to be able to build this farm. And yeah, this is one of the reasons why I went and did some NCD raiding, because I needed choker boxes to transport all the materials, because we got to go find a spot in the nether, and it's going to be probably a bit far away from everything else up there, just so that's not an eyesore, and we're looking for a very specific spot. I'll explain when I get there, but uh, yeah, just waiting for these turtles to breed and lay eggs, and more importantly, the eggs hatching is quite the process. In fact, look at these ones that they're on top of right now. I haven't even cracked it. They've been there for a while, a few days IRL, and this is part of the reason why, because yeah, people sleep through the night, and eggs take a long time if people are sleeping through the night. Into the nether we go. Hopefully we can find a decent area to build this farm up. All right, now that we're in the nether, we need to find a nether waste biome, which we're in right now. You can tell by the pink sky, but we want to make this kind of away from everything here. Because eventually, like I said before, there's going to be some sort of nether hub going on, and we don't want things super close. In fact, that's probably as close as we want to get to the area right there with what Doc's doing. I think even Tango has a hogland farm out here somewhere, and you can't even see it from here, which is cool. All right, I've reached a soul sand biome, which somebody's taken advantage of. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to keep flying, and hopefully we'll get nether waste again. And then we got to look for something below the bedrock that makes sense. Here we go. Okay, pink sky again. This is great. And we lost our pink sky. So I think I'm going to go back a little bit, and we're going to look underneath the bedrock for a decent spot. All right, we're going to bust into the camera account here, uh, free cam. It's a lot easier than logging on a camera account. We're going to use free cam and just take a peek underneath because what we're looking for is, uh, there we go. Oh, there's a bastion there. It's kind of an open space. We want kind of above a lava lake just to kind of minimize any spots where these guys can spawn. So, yeah, actually, this might be good as long as we don't have any spawning on the bastion over there. In fact, I wonder how bad it would be. Just to be like right here. Yeah, so somewhere up here would probably be decent. And then it looks like minimal spots that we would need to spawn proof. Probably just all this. Or we could blow this out. This doesn't wouldn't look like a lot. Wouldn't be too difficult to get rid of. Or we can just put some pressure plates or buttons on top to get rid of all these guys from spawning. And that will probably work. All right, I think I picked this spot right here. This is the spot we're going to stand and swing our sword. Yeah, I want to do, I want to actually use my looting sword and be actively swinging at the pigman. That's going to give us even more loot than if we just are totally AFK and just letting them die on their own. Or I'll give an option actually to do either mode, depending on how I feel. But I wanted to kind of go up from here because we're going to need to put some storage units and stuff underneath. And I wanted to be able to build down if needed. That's why we've got the stairway here. And I had to make sure everything is spawn proof. So those are top slabs all right there. And then stairs and then glass, of course, that they can spawn on. And if we look, we can actually see with our mini HUD here, we made some shapes that we can kind of get an idea of where we need to build this farm. So right here, this green circle right here, anything within this circle while I'm standing there, it won't spawn on because I'm too close. And once we get outside, we can start to build up layers all the way until our red sphere, which goes all the way up to build height, which is 256. So if you look, it cuts off right there. So we can build layers all the way from the top of this green sphere all the way up to build height, and that'll give us plenty of room for the gold farm. Now, the more important part is let's go down and take a look underneath the bedrock. So basically down here, anything that's inside this red sphere 
is going to be spawnable area. In fact, all this we looked at before is going to be spawnable. Like I said, we're going to have to spawn proof it. But it's really not that much. If you look, there's not a lot going on over here that they can spawn in. And we've got the lava lake down below. Maybe a little bit of this. It's mainly just this landmass right here that we have to deal with, which is not too bad. This cuts into here, but there's really maybe some pockets here that we got to deal with. That's not too bad either. I think this is a decent spot, about a little bit right here as well. We can definitely deal with this. So I, I picked this spot. I think it's gonna be the best that we're gonna be able to get, um, at least just from quickly looking around and we can make do with what's left and we shall get building. Well, I'd say it's working. <laughs> we are getting plenty of gold and levels as well. Look at us, 141 levels. I AFK'd this a little bit, which is doable thanks to our regen beacon. So even when we start to starve because we get hungry after swinging our sword for so long, it can regen us as we're starving to death basically and we can stay alive, which is nice. We don't have to worry about eating food while we're here. So just had to do, you know, a little auto clicker that just swings my sword every once in a while and we're good to go. And there we go. So it's now collecting the gold. A lot goes into my pockets as well. But then after that, if we take a look down here. We've got my item filter system and I've got it set to collect some gold nuggets and another set of gold nuggets. I think the first couple ones. Yeah, all of these are getting the gold nuggets. Yep, five of them before they will go off. And that way that gives it a chance to collect everything. And then, of course, we've got ingots that will come in as well. And I've got a couple set up for that. And then, yeah, why not? We'll keep the zombified piglin heads. It could be fun uh, to use as a prank later or something. And the rotten flesh for now is just going off into fire over here. Uh, I know we could trade that. I know we could smelt the swords. But that's, that's probably just not worth my time at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and, and burn that. But all that gold is now going into this system down here. So we are using the fact that we can do auto crafting this season and the gold nuggets are all getting funneled into one of these two crafters, which will eventually make them into gold bars. And those gold bars are going to be sent down to a bartering system. Now I set up a little bartering system just to get the ball rolling on this. I would really like to do a crazy fancy bartering system and it's been a while since I did one. So I think, I will have a friend who has some recent experience with bartering farms help me out and maybe come up with something fun and cool and unique, uh, but we'll probably do that next episode. Anyway, so all the bars are getting shot through this powdered snow that basically just helps get them kind of aligned to the middle of the block so they're not just scattered all over as dispensers like to fire things and that's what happens, they go off random directions. Powdered snow kind of reels that in and then that's all just going straight down. So let's fly down there. Now you can see why I got my wings, right? <laughs> going back and forth without wings would have been very painful. I would have had to climb that scaffolding probably hundreds of times while building that farm. We just had a gold bar. I don't know if you saw it come all the way down. And there it is. It's getting put into a cobweb. And one of these guys will, will grab it and then go ahead and spit out the goodies. And then I just got a little item elevator to put it up in here. I haven't done a sorting system or anything yet, so it's all just unfiltered. I was gonna say junk, but this is far from junk. This is exactly what we are here for, this nether quartz, because, yeah, there we go. We've got the nether quartz permit, and we wanna, of course, get as much as we can from this farm. And yeah, look at this, it's actually, wow, okay. It's going on to the next row already, so that's good. I put as many as I could afford chests in here to collect while I was AFK because I didn't want anything to go to waste. But yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably get a decent sorting system so that we can sort all these out. And then we will have a lot of other goodies that 
yeah, I probably will use Blackstone. Definitely going to use that in, in the Cyberpunk City. And it's nice to get some free fire resist, some free obsidian, crying obsidian, and of course, soul speed. Hey, yo, I'm going to take that one. That's a soul speed three book. And I think I want to put that on because walking through soul sand in the nether is terrible right now. And I think that's might be the only thing I'm really missing from my boots. I mean, they are, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty stacked. So hopefully it'll let me put that on that without saying it's too expensive. But we've got this underway. I think I've only put like five or six piglins in there, named them, of course, so they won't despawn. And they seem to keep up because if they didn't, I would see gold bars in here, right? They, if they were too busy or already had a gold bar in their hands, you would see a gold bar go past them, which I don't see. So actually at the moment, that's all we need. So we do have a few more things to do to this farm. I'm not going to get to it today, but we obviously want to make this look good. Easy way in and out. And uh, also, I haven't done the buttons yet. I showed you that area before where there is still some spawning happening underneath. So the rates aren't actually as good as they eventually will be just yet, which is crazy to think because, I mean... Yeah, we're getting lots of stuff already. And yeah, look at how fast they come back after I kill them. So yeah, uh, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be so great. This is going to be so great. And I can't wait for the bartering system to come. But I think right now I'm ready to go upgrade my armor. Remember we wanted to get netherite armor and I was looking for some trims and I didn't have all the smithing templates that I needed. Well, that's been taken care of thanks to a Friday night stream with Tango and Skiz. Shall we do it? You're going to shoot me? Shall yeah, we? I'll even float for you. Let's christen Skizzle Man. It's time Wait, to christen him. Ouch! Here we go. <laughs> we're we're no, we're going Bastion bashing. We're going to mm. Bastions. Uh, but we're doing it a la Friday night style. Right. All we all we get is, is oh. an iron sword and a pork shop and a prayer. I don't have a sword. I have nothing. I want to make sure we're doing this right. I'm holding 42 cooked fish and I have nothing else except my booties. Oh. Well, let me uh, let me help you. Nothing else but a smile. Well, there's something. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. I spare wingies. Izzy got wingies. <laughs> <laughs> Take the iron picks. Uh, I have uh, stacks on stacks, iron and a stack of logs. There you go. We make them on the way. We make them when we get there. Do it live. We're yeah. doing it live. Okay. All right. Okay. It's are we ready? So we didn't like pre-scout any bastions. We're just gonna fly through the nether and hope. Please, we get don't some. let me lose these wings. There no we go, on. bastion. Oh, nice, ahead. dude. That's a good one. This is number one, right? All here. right, where are we going? In? Uh, how about right here? Look at this. This is safe. Off to the side, right here. We can make a little <clears throat> safe room. Okay, I like it. I have no pick. Oh, I lost you guys. Wait, Ooh. where'd you go? Oh no. <clears throat> what? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Woo! All cool right, <laughs> stream over. Come on! Oh, we lost top, 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 top. I see you, buddy. Did you guys go? See, see me? See gotcha. me? Look yep. straight. Yep. Now there's oh, a little bit of a problem. Put your toe in here, top. Thank you. There's a little bit of a problem. Hello. I brought. I broke a block, and there was XP waiting for me. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that is weird. Yes. We got to keep flying, strange. gentlemen. <clears throat> it's been, been, it's been raided. Hypno just admitted it. He didn't loot, though. We could loot real quick. You don't know. This is going to be he an just... easy loot. If oh, he did loot. Do we want to just take the we stuff We could loot quick? and or scoot. You're, you almost loot. <laughs> no, and you have your diamond pick. Do you want to set up a, a room or what? You're, well, I'm getting it's... mixed messages here. Yeah, usually I would say yes, but the brutes are dead. Hypno killed them all. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Tell me you snapped and wiggled the finger. <laughs> That's a brood, dude! Little help, little He's help. gonna die! Dibble Dab's gonna die, dude! I'm on it! <laughs> hey. Yeah! Woo. We're gonna take him to the safe place! Mon oh, in there's so much gold down there! Should we go for it? I feel like Ooh, we should. That's a long... How are you gonna get there? Uh, should I drop? Should I run? Oh, you brought Ender Pearls. You guys are lying. Oh, yeah. I did not bring Ender Pearls. He brought Stay Ender out Pearls. of here. You guys, I don't like the misinformation, oh, everybody. Oh, uh, I'm going to die. Good. I got okay, the upgrade go. temporal already. I love what I found as well. Ooh, okay. not chapel, baby. Let's go. Okay. okay. We are safe. Um, I, don't, ooh, I think it's ooh. a lost cause on that stuff, yeah? I got, I, got a, I got a banner, a snout banner. Shall we try again? It's not a lot of bone block hey, that I don't care about. Chat, where's the where's the loot? Where's all the happiness? Okay, we totally got it. Oh, 
all your oh. stuff went to lava. All right, that's that's it for that. New stuff, new stuff time. Oh, 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 oh. Skadoodle. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Speed. Just a bunch of arrows and poop sauce. What kind True. Of sense is this? They all mad now. No, 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 come on. Get him and then you lost. Oh, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. He's in a hole with me. Oh, man. I love you. That went out like I thought it would. A lot of deaths and a lot of hilarity as well. Of course, you guys know when I do these streams, they are on my second channel, Impulse SV2. So you guys can check it out there. But uh, look at this. We made it out with a bunch of goodies after we split everything up. Uh, we split up some of the ancient debris that we got, some of the diamonds we got, some of the extra templates we got, and then also the other side disc. I think both Skiz and Tango got one. Skiz is going to do records, I believe, at some point is his permit, so he kind of needed it. But also this snout pattern, I'll probably give it to him as well because he's doing banners, which I'm going to utilize Skiz's services for banners in our Cyberpunk City for sure. So he's going to be pretty busy. But all right, we are ready now that we've got this to actually upgrade our gear to netherite. And I hope I have enough. I may not actually, now that I look at it, have enough to get all of our armor updated. I just want the more purpley look once I enchant it. In fact, I might not even use this chest plate because it's not very good. We're going to have to get ourselves a new chest plate. But I want to finish up with all the different trims. I believe we have everything we need now from a trim standpoint somewhere in here. Yes, I have put it in my, my wingies box. But uh, we've got a bunch of trims now. I'm excited to finally get a more cyberpunk look. All right, we're just a little bit short of having enough to do our all of our armor here. Of course, we don't need to worry about our helmets since we got our fancy headgear on. Since I'm pretty happy with my boots and my pants, aside from the boots maybe missing that Soul Speed 3 book, let's go ahead and see if it'll take it real quick. And perfect. Okay, so now we've got... Yeah, this is great. Feather Falling 4 and Breaking 3, Protection 4, Mending, Death Strider, and Soul Speed 3. That's a pretty <laughs> amazing set of boots. And now we can actually make them netherite. So let's take our template upgrade that we got, put it in here, put the boots in, put the netherite ingot in, and there we go. It's going to make them look so cool. And I'm happy with my pants right now. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Swift Sneak 3, and Mending. Um, I don't think there's anything else I'm missing on those. So let's go ahead and do the same thing there. And I just made a giant mistake. I forgot to copy that upgrade template before I use it. Well, it's a good thing we found more than one. So I'm going to have to go grab one from Skiz or Tango and make a copy of it real quick. Oopsies. I believe it's just Netherrack. And we're going to have to spend some diamonds. This is where this stuff gets pretty expensive. Lucky for me, I have some diamonds to spare. Well, I just searched through all of Tango's chests and I don't see his. So he's probably got it stashed away in his uh, an ender chest probably and that's not good and he's not online right now but skizzle man is so i'm gonna go see if skizzle man has one that i could copy what a dumb mistake gotta remember to copy those before you use them whoops what in the world is wrong with tyler swift can't even jump out of a hole that this is not my horse this may be named tyler swift but this is not my horse who took my horse. This is not Tyler Swift. Tyler Swift can jump 5.2 blocks, and this one can't even get out of a horse hole. I will not stand for this. I might have to give Corrales a call. Good thing I got that extended warranty. Uh, I see a name tag. Skiz, you up here? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I uh, I, I did something dumb. <laughs> okay. Remember those those upgrade templates we got when we did the bastion bashing and uh, we kind of split them up at the end? I do. I used mine. I forgot to copy it. You're supposed to copy it before you can I come in here. Uh, I forgot to copy it. And then I used it and uh, now it's gone and I need another one. Okay. Do, do you have one that I can I can copy? <laughs> Just mess with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have... Is this, uh, this, this here, this here, this here? Yeah, the red one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, before okay. I make the same mistake again, I'm going to actually copy it. I think, if I got this right, it's Netherrack and then the diamonds. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, here's your original back. Okay, oh, thank you. You are a lifesaver. Yeah, it takes Netherrack to copy it, plus a bunch of diamonds. Wait, tell me how to do it so I don't make the same mistake. How many diamonds? Okay, uh, let me think. Seven? Seven, Seven diamonds, diamonds and one piece of netherrack. Bop. Yep, put Ready? the template on top, and then put the netherrack yep. under Got it, it, and then make a little U with the diamonds, yeah. 
Now you have two. Check this out. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> before I even leave. I'm going to make myself <laughs> an extra copy because if I if I went back and did the same mistake again, I, I'd, yeah. I'd probably just rage quit. So <laughs> All right, All I, got, right. I got two now. Skiz, I made a discovery right. as I was riding uh, Tyler Swift, my new and an improved horse over to Tango's to look to see if he had one. Something's not quite right with Tyler Swift today. Uh Oh, yeah. Remember, oh. remember, remember that much of a jumper Tyler Swift was. Remember, you were so impressed. Five blocks yes. jumper. Yeah, go ahead. Give go ahead. Give give it a give it a go. Slow. Terrible health. Something Barely get, him he out? get it can't even jump out of a horse hole. This horse is so bad. A Did two block swap horse him hole. Out? Uh, yeah, somebody's bamboozling me. Took my my real Tyler Swift. Can oh, you believe that's that? Not cool. No. Not cool that's at all. Not, cool. not make sure nobody did that to shingles. Oh my goodness. I don't know who in their right mind would do that. Renamed it. It. Gave it the same armor and everything. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh no, Hold was on. your swapped out too with a bad horse? Uh, well, I'm starting. We got to horse shenanigans so. going on on the server. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Well, yeah, yours looks fine. He he feels fast. He feels the same speed, but it feels like he can't jump at all. Well, I don't wait, think he ever on. could. I mean, he does have shingles. Well, <laughs> he <laughs> did. He wasn't a great jumper, but he could still do it. <laughs> oh no! I, oh my god! I, I think I think yeah, there's some shenanigans going on, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Luckily, I paid for the extended warranty with uh, uh, Tyler Swift okay. here, so I might I might be all right. But uh, I don't know who would who would do such a thing. Horse nappers here on the server. I know. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go cool. finish upgrading my armor. Thank you so much for the template, man. All right, brother. All right, let's store the original for safekeeping here, and now we can use this one to upgrade our pants. I still can't believe I did that. All right. These look fancy. Let's put them on. And still not going to look quite right with that. But look at how good it goes with the rest of our outfit now. It's got a much more dark look, charcoal kind of. And then with a little bit of the purple glow tint, it actually blends in really good with our vibe. But, yep, let's go ahead and focus on the chest plate. Let's go enchant one, get the enchantments that we want on it. And then uh, we might need to go to the nether and get a little more ancient debris. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the enchantments off of this one and we'll be able to hook it up with the enchantment table with something better here. Now that we've got plenty of levels to burn through, this should be no problem. And there we go. Protection four. That's a good start. Do wish it had some unbreaking three on it or something else, but that's okay because we can roll books now pretty easily. And so far, we're not getting anything good. Okay. All these books, none of them are going to help. You know what? I already forgot. I had an unbreaking three villager back here. Pretty expensive, but that'll save us some time. All right, luckily for us, we have enough emeralds to make the purchase here. And hopefully we'll have enough to see Captain Mendy and get a mending book put on there as well. And then I think we'll be set. I don't think we need anything more than protection for unbreaking three and mending. So thank you very much. Ooh, and it looks like Green has finished his fishing hut, I guess this is. So let's see. Captain Mending, are you still up there, my friend? Oh, I see you now. Hello. Oh, Mendy too. Right. Yeah. Um, so there was a little thing that happened, and uh you just want to watch probably Green's next video to find out what happened. He's probably gonna say what it, what went down there. But yeah, we did have a bit of a casualty with Captain Mendy number one, and we had to bring over another one. But this is okay because, oh, yes, cheaper now, 18. Last guy was like 34, I think. Anyway, okay, perfect. Okay, we'll just combine these together, and there we go. Now, I want to put another trim on this as well that's going to match our outfit. However, I need to get tied, and that's from an ocean monument. I got to kill some Elder Guardians, and there's a 20% chance they'll drop the tied template when you do. So probably got to go on an adventure and get that. But first, I think I will go ahead and get the rest of the netherite needed to upgrade this. At least then we can have matching outfit, right? All right, we got what we needed, some netherite scraps. There we go, another netherite ingot. And I'm not going to make the same mistake again. We're going to copy this before we use it. Perfect. All right, let's get that chest plate done. And there we go. Let's take a look. Yes, it's looking good. Yeah, we don't have the trim on it just yet. 
And I think I will save the Ocean Monument raid for next episode. And again, yeah, we're going to be working on the bartering system. Want to get that to be really fancy and cool. And I'm going to have a partner in crime with that. So looking forward to that. And things are coming along here. We also need to get back to doing some cyberpunk stuff. We haven't really done much with this building or adding to the city. So that's going to be coming very, very soon. I know exactly what we're doing with these. And we got some more building to do. Been talking to B-dubs, I think. We're going to start getting the roads laid out as well. So you can guys get a good idea of how this city is going to flow. And I've been uh, chipping away at trying to get the trees down and flattening the land here for this city. It's coming together, guys, and I'm so excited for what's to come. Hopefully you guys are too. But that is going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. With that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.